Well, I grabbed this radio the moment I could lay my hands on it. Sony radios always amaze me. And there's something special about every model. Now, this is the 7R79, a very rare piece. Probably it was manufactured in the 1960s. Now, I couldn't get much technical data on this, much less a review or a restoration. Anyway, this is the classic beauty. So, let's have a look inside. Well, opening the set is pretty easy. There are just two screws which hold the back cover. Well, my first impression, it does look clean. But more than that, I'm sure this technology is from the mid 60s. You can guess by the printed board. You can also see that the cabinet is wooden except of course for the front and rear panels, the tuning gang, the long ferrite rod and the PM speaker. Well, sorry about that, can't really play this station too loudly because of copyright problems. Well, the medium wave sounds pretty good. And apart from the LED interference, I'm sure all the shortwave bands will also be received quite well. The band switch, uh, the volume and tone controls are a bit noisy and um, I think a bit of switch cleaning oil will sort it out. then you got to be enjoying the next number which is simply easy lover coming right up for your listening pleasure only well today is a thursday a gorgeous day outside super hot so do remember to keep those cold drinks in your hands and keep yourselves covered and try and avoid too sunnier places <laughs> Now, apart from the usual earphone as well as the external DC power supply socket, just look at this innovation. You can remove and insert batteries without opening the back cover, just by the twist of this knob. And that's what makes Sony so special. Well, I'm not really surprised to see some corrosion of the metal parts that I suppose over a period of time, it's bound to happen. And there has been some leakage of battery fluids, um, probably, and uh, 
and that must have caused uh, damage to the uh, wooden frame which also has to be repaired and what we see here are the input and output audio transformers and they are in a typical uh, push pull configuration and this was the preferred technology those days well you know it actually does sound very paradoxical to say all this you know modern tech versus old tech and uh, how come you know, these old things sound better well it's a combination really you have a wooden cabinet you have uh, the pm speakers and and then you have this uh, transformer output stage and this entire combination it does help to make this sound much richer it has a little bit more depth and it has a bit more warmth to it and again this is my personal feeling well, i was actually very surprised to see those jumper wires i don't know whether it's part of the original circuit uh but this uh, that condenser next to it uh that's definitely out of place and uh, it doesn't look original and uh, probably i'm going to remove this well i went about servicing this set first of all i cleaned the set and thereafter i checked the speaker you can see it's a bit dusty nothing more than that and it's in excellent condition the plywood of the cabinet was damaged and uh, possibly due to battery leakage which of course i had to repair and then came the capacitors i would have preferred to recap all of them but i changed two of them which i suspected to be quite faulty it's very difficult to pull out these capacitors you have less space and moreover their legs are bent and soldered onto the pcb and if you desolder them and attempt to remove them even with a solder wick you end up actually damaging the tracks so i avoided that and uh, had to accept the fact that if it plays well it ends well well you do try to keep modern technology out but you know sometimes it's almost impossible like in this particular case you know this dial light bulb it's almost impossible to get so what better than an led I hope you like this video. Do see my other videos on vintage radios and electronics. Thanks for watching.